Welcome to Louisiana Sisterhood Book Club. And as you know, I'm your hostess, Betty Allen, and we're here on the set today, of course, with the owner, Katherine Taylor Bowers. Yes, and guess what? You know, always we have a beautiful guest for you. And we have Miss Brenda Robinson with us today. Hi, she came out with her new book, y'all. And you know one thing, it's a gorgeous book. It's a very informative book, and it's a God word based book. And it says, A Grace Filled Marriage. A Grace Filled Marriage, y'all. And Miss Robinson is here, who's going to tell us all about it. Welcome, Miss Robinson, to the show. Good morning. It's Good a morning. pleasure to be here. And thank you, Miss Betty and Miss Bowers, for inviting me to this show today. And I'm honored to be here. Well, the Ooh, book honored is. Honored to have you. Well, praise God. It's a blessing. Um, the book is called A Grace Fair Marriage on a Mission. Um, my husband, Ronnie, and I went through some trials, and um, I went through a lot of hurt and pain. And I started writing, and God gave me the vision to put it in a book. So I put my thoughts and I put my pain and what I went through in this book. And um, by writing the book, um, God told me to take away the shame, the pain, and let him take full control and put the book out there. So the book is about my husband and I, um, what we went through and how to overcome infidelity and how you can be strong again and be united and be one once again. Mm -hmm. So um, I want um, this book to be able to encourage you, motivate you, and to let you know that there is hope after infidelity and to know that God is in control and when you pray and you give all your all in all to God, everything will work out in your favor. And the book is um, to encourage you to have a stick and stay marriage because so many of us today, we break up on the, just the, the littlest thing, you know, smallest, the no smallest things. thing, you know, yeah. to the, to the top off the toothpaste, the <laughs> shoes in the middle of the floor, you know. Um, just little things that we break up on, but um, when God ordained it, I, I just feel like that you can work through anything. Every marriage is not the same, but I know that when you put God in it, you can work through it. You let forgiveness come in your heart, and you remove pain, shame, everything will work out. Yeah, what an awesome message. I'm telling you. You know one thing? Ms. Robinson is here today, and she just told you a mouthful. And guess what? She's going to break it all down for you in her book. Now, Ms. Robinson, tell us a little bit about you. How did you get started and where you come from and all those kind of things? Okay. Um, I got started... Um, well, I wouldn't. It wasn't. I wasn't going to write a book, but God led me to write a book. I didn't have any intentions into writing a book, mm -hmm. but it took me two years, and I obeyed God, and He gave me the strength to do it, and um, I ended up going on writing it. And come, God placed the right people at the right time in my life to so um, yes. to put the book out. So um, I, I have. Um, the book, I've had the book, the book got started, I mean, the book came out December the 31st, and it's been going since, and i um been in business for 30, 30 some years as a cosmetologist, and um, I have a boutique, a salon boutique, 4123 Greenwood Road, and I would love for you to come out, and come, come out and give us a, a visit, and I also will have my books there. And my books are going to be um, at the Shreve Library and they're on Amazon.com and they will be at Heavenly Glow and they will be also in Walmart. And anytime you feel like you want one, you can contact me at 318-426-6492. See there? She's already telling you I where mean, you can get this book. She, she kind of did all your work for you this morning, <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> I like that. 
I like an author that's on the move. Oh, She's man. ready. She knows that you're hungry for this world right, that right is in this point. book. Right on point, girl. Yes, right on that's point. Good. But I'm that's telling Brenda, you, though. <laughs> yes. That lets you know when you come in her shop, baby, you have a 9 o'clock appointment, baby, you out at 9 30. I'm a woman that starts on time. Right. And you yes, had it. Really sharp do. I'm telling you, she will keep you looking and good. And she's going to make you feel at home. Yes, she <laughs> will. Now, her book is The Grace Filled Marriage, a marriage that's on a mission. Now, it has what? It has 11 chapters in it. And when I read the book, let me tell you how good the book is. I read it within an hour, y'all. I couldn't put it down. It was just that good. This book is for every married couple there mm. is. Whether you have a great marriage, a marriage on the rocks, a marriage that's about to separate, baby, you need to get this book. Before you go and see anybody's lawyer, get this book. Oh, I like that. I'm telling you. Because guess what? God intended for everybody to be married. He said he formed a what? A male and a female. Okay, so marriage is very important to God because he is married to us. He said he's coming back for what? His bride, and we are his bride. Now, the first chapter says the news. The second chapter says temptation turned into what? Sin. The third chapter says working through the hurt and pain. You're going to have some hurt and pain in a marriage. Healed from the inside out. Yes. The fourth chapter. He said generation curses can be broken. Yes. Overcoming adultery. After the storm, let's have this what conversation and scripture references to back up everything that she has put in this book. Amen. Now, the part that I really enjoyed about her book, which I enjoyed the whole book, but it said generational curses can be broken. When this woman Miss Brenda Robinson and her husband went through some trials and tribulations in their life. She realized that she had to hurry up and cut those trials and tribulations off so they would not affect her children. Do you not understand what you do with yourself and your husband will affect your children? This is a very Absolutely. bright and That's smart right. young woman. She realized, she said, I got to cut this curse off of my family's tree right now. Now, I know that's in the middle of the book, but I would like for you to start right there. Tell us when you recognize this curse that was there. Expound on that for us. They would love to know. Okay. When I first realized that um, it was a generational curse going on, because my husband and I, we was talking and we were sharing some things with each other, and I started researching and trying to find out, you know, why this pattern, it's a pattern. You know, when it's a generational curse, it's a pattern going on. And you look back, it's your grandmother, your great-grandmother, mm -hmm. your great-great-grandmother, grandfather, right. your aunt, your uncle. And you see things growing up to where they, them spirits tend to jump off on you and you never know what's going on. Exactly. You react in a way to where you're like, why do I react this way? Why, do, why am I always, you know, and I found out that and with me, I was more of a bossy, demanding woman when I first got married. It was because I came up, I grew up with a mother that was independent. She, you know, she was bossy. Strong will. Strong will, mm -hmm. you know. So that was on, on me. And I couldn't bring that in my marriage. And I had to find, you know, I found out that I had to break that. And as far as with my, my husband, he realized that he saw some things with the men in his family. Mm -hmm. You know, even with the ladies, you know, mm -hmm. aunts, you know. Um, his dad, step, you know, stepdad, well, he realized that that was on him, not saying that he could, could have stopped it, but sometimes you really don't know how to stop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. You really don't until you really realize and get to the root of what caused right. this. That's so, so important. To yeah, get an inventory. The inventory. And be honest about be it. Be honest. Right. And he had to open up and he was honest and he realized and God was showing him, him some things and God was showing me some things when we went in prayer to where, you know, we need to break this cycle. Mm -hmm. You know, our children have seen this. You mm -hmm. know, they have seen what we 
we have went through with, you know, infidelity, you know, um, me being the type of woman I was, you know, mm -hmm. I never disrespect my husband in public, but when we did come home and I wasn't happy with something, I would go off, you know, mm -hmm. but that still wasn't God's way. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, uh, and our children, you think they're not listening, but they're, they are, mm -hmm. the, the walls are thin, so they're, even though you close the doors, they're listening. So, we had a family gathering, you know, and um, a family meeting, rather, and we discussed some things, and we mm -hmm. set our children down, and we prayed, we cried, we talked about how they felt, we listened and how they felt, and that's very important to always listen to your children, because a lot of times children are afraid mm -hmm. to speak up because they feel like that they're being disrespected. And they don't have a voice. They don't have a voice. Right. So they open up, we open up, and we talked, and um, we explained some things to them, they explained some things to us, and we showed them of the past that was going on and how to break it and we was going to break it by prayer mm -hmm. by prayer and we meditate you know on God's word and just know and recognize once you recognize what's going right. on you then you, you can then you can release and then you will know when it comes up when it pops up in your life well guess what she just told you there is a curse and she told you how to break it with what prayer and you know one thing with that break coming in they're gonna have to bring us to our commercial and you know we got to go to commercial we got to pay the bill but we'll be right back to tell you the secrets to the other parts of the marriages be right really back need to hear this yes you're paul Oh, yeah. I'm the new sprinter. Huh. Uh, sprint plus. Intern. Clever, right? I was just. Looking at getting an amazing iPhone 8. They have an all glass design, advanced cameras, A11 Bionic chip. Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, now you're going to give your second phone to your new friend. Wow, Paul. Oh, man, it's amazing. And now get one iPhone 8 and give a second one on us. Or get the unrivaled iPhone 10 now for just $20 a month. That's 50% off. Switch to Sprint and get the best price for Unlimited. Here comes Terry, the winner of the Kmart free cash fun game. She was flown all the way here for a $1,500 free cash and point shopping spree. Time to set her loose. It's the free cash fun game, y'all. Play often, have fun, win big. Welcome back to the Louisiana Sisterhood Book Club. As you know, when we cut off, hey, Brenda Robinson was over here on fire telling you about the curses on marriages that you need to break. And how to break those, she said, with prayer. And you know, God told us when those disciples could not, what, break that curse off of that little boy when the father brought him, when he had that epileptic fit, and then they snuck around the back door and said, Jesus, why weren't we able to do that? And Jesus said, that demon only can come out with what? Fasting and prayer. So that lets you know that you need to be in prayer with your marriage. And you know one thing, we gonna get hey, we gonna get Miss Catherine over here in this because she was chumping at the bit when Miss Brenda was over here talking about, oh breaking the curse, breaking the curse. Come on, tell us about it. She said, I got to get into that. I got to get into this. Come on, Miss Catherine. Well Miss Robinson, I gotta tell you, it's just an awesome book. And it Great. right out the stall I was able to be blessed from it. You know, I, I was just able to relate to it because I've had some dysfunction as, uh, as far as uh, relationships myself and I've been guilty of doing it the ungodly way, but you do have better results when you do it the godly way. I right. found that to be true. Right. And even though it's hard, but it's possible. Mm -hmm. But I love the way you said the news, mm -hmm. you know, the news. And, and it was just like a ton of bricks for you, you know, and you bring us into understanding that we all have hurt and pain. I, I can see that. But um, I just want to say, you, you talk about the Lord a lot, so I know you're a woman of God. But you say, I felt that the Lord was showing me the signs. And that's so true. Mm -hmm. You know, in infidelity, there are signs. Right. Now, we can ignore them. And I said, that's God's way of telling us mm -hmm. that something's there we yes. need to address. Mm -hmm. Right. But, and I love to, like Miss Allen, I love the generational curses, because I've seen those in my own life. Um, probably as a result of different dysfunction and, and family issues, 
probably some of that weighed in on my relationships and how I looked at men. Mm -hmm. You know, coming from a situation where, um, I, and I'm learning now a lot that some people, they read their Bibles and then they start living the negative parts. Negative, you know, that's right, um, that's that right. Abraham had two wives. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes he did. But that doesn't necessarily mean you should have, you two, should wives, have two wives, right? That's you right. come into the New Testament. So that's why it's so important to read our Bibles. That's right. But um, I, I haven't finished yet. But it is a book that holds you. You want to move to the next chapter to see what she's saying, what she, advice that she's giving to you. But just overcoming these things. You know, when we stand on, on our faith, we can't overcome things that we think that are impossible. Mm -hmm. You can. That's right. Yes, and, you can. Yes, you can. And I love your family, and I've, I've known your children since they were small, and it's just beautiful to see them uh, grown up now. Mm -hmm. But I, I love that your husband also, you know, it was hurtful for you, but it was hurtful for him for as him well. Also. You That's know, because, right. mm -hmm. I mean, if men yeah. are doing things, they really don't want to get caught. Yeah. And so when they do get caught, they, they're feeling that shame and that hurt too. Mm -hmm. And so he had to deal with some things, you know, uh, but I love the way she handled this. It's for any young women, especially young women, mm -hmm. you know, we've crossed a lot of bridges mm -hmm. so we know what's there and what's possible but a lot of the young women they're confused confused that's and right. what i'm so happy about now is that we as women we're coming out and telling the young women i can't tell Open you how up. to live your life mm -hmm. but i can tell you what i went through went that through. i survived mm -hmm. that's right so it's a great book how I, to survive I, yes how to survive and, and and the main thing is to know the lord that's, that's right. the main thing the number one and, and i would really suggest like they say anybody in a relationship to get this book and read it um she she wrote it as short and sweet so you can carry it in your purse or you can take it to work and read it or just read it but it's a great book and I'm so glad to see you Brenda so glad to see you too Catherine and you know what that this book Brenda went in and started she started out you know I told you first chapter the news she said it's like the news but you open up your door get your newspaper off the floor and say uh uh we on the front page guess what my husband been fooling around he didn't want to fool around <laughs> but guess what he was out there on his job minding his own business and went on a service call and this woman see women y'all better behave out there yeah, she she's, yeah. <laughs> she went in there and she said oh he's nice looking oh he got a job Mm -hmm. I see his mug. I want to get a no ham. But knowing that he, she seen that ring on his finger, she seen it. Yes, she did. <laughs> Brenda told you she said, "Yes, see my husband ring just shining that gold band out there." And Miss Robinson said, "Oh no, but no, no, no." And guess what? The woman went in her house and broke her stuff again, just so that service man could come back out and fix it again. She didn't want it fixed. She wanted to fix him. Miss Brenda tells you about it in the book. Women behave. Get this. Book. She said the news. That front page. That newspaper, uh uh, we splattered all of them. But you know one thing? She's not getting my husband. God says she cannot have him. God gave that man to Brenda Robinson. And that man is going to stay with Brenda Robinson. So claim your husband in the Lord right now because there's some women out there that got some broken ovens, y'all. They don't need them ovens fixed. they trying to get that man. Brenda Robinson in her book said, A Graceville Marriage. That's what she's talking about. And you know, that's what I love about Brenda. She was to the point. It's short, it's sweet, but baby, this girl rolled on this book. She rolled on it. She did. She, did. she, she said did. temptations turned right. into sin. Right. That woman had some temptations up in her house. Right. Brenda Robinson tells you about it in her book. Trying to get her great man, her man that you can do great service. And Brenda tells you, say, yeah, I got a good man. He does great service because he does please me. And I got the children to please to show you. And guess what? That curse, that part about this woman recognized that that was a curse. She got her children involved. They started praying. Brenda mm -hmm. said they got together as a family, together, around the table. And when your children be watching you, they be listening to the arguments upside that wall. Mm -hmm. And when the door is closed, they can show you something. Listen to your children. Like Ms. Robinson said, listen to your children. Mm -hmm. Ms. Yeah. Robinson said, those children say, uh-uh, that's our daddy. We keeping our daddy. It's a family it's affair. It's a family it's affair. affair. Mm -hmm. But now, I always like to say, we're, we're not going to villainize the other woman because mm -hmm. we're going to pray for her. That's right. There were yes. some issues, and I'm sure she mm -hmm. wanted your husband with all a handsome man, got a good job. You know, mm -hmm. women want all that kind of stuff. So, but we're going to say, you know, women, we have to stay in our lane now. Yes. You have to stay in your lane. And Miss Robinson told that woman to stay in her lane. Shown up, she did. Miss Robinson, come on and tell us when you were saying overcoming adultery. 
Now, of course, adultery was committed. You're going to find it out in the book. See, we can't tell it all to you because then you got to go get this book because we're wetting your appetite. Now, tell about <laughs> oh, overcoming the adult, how she played. Uh huh. Come on, Ms. Robinson. Tell us about that. Okay. Well, uh, to overcome adultery, I had to constantly pray. Pray, pray, pray. Cry to God and let him be my lead and let God guide me on mm -hmm. what to do, how to do things. And never disrespect my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, from the beginning to now, I never stopped being the wife that I was supposed to be, that God called me to be. Um, I would still pray with my husband and because I knew I saw the hurt on him also mm -hmm. and I never forget when he was sitting on the bed and I could see that he hadn't really released how he felt you know and God told me to go and tell him that to forgive himself that I forgave him God mm -hmm. forgave him but right. now to forgive himself and I saw the releasing on him once he really really saw that God really truly truly forgave him and he need to forgive himself I saw a breakthrough I saw a releasing in him so that brought brought me to really know that hey um, we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna be you know on one accord back into unity and that he can really have the joy and peace inside because he had lost his peace mm -hmm. so to overcome the adultery you must pray for one mm -hmm. and you must continue to love and let forgiveness come in. And you know one thing? She was saying her husband was making confession within himself to come out to speak out so that what all that pain can be released and at this time you know that's going to bring us to another commercial we got to pay the bills y'all so this is another break but you know what they while we on break go to amazon.com and get this book a grace filled marriage hey we'll be right back with you okay This is what we've all been waiting for. We're just trying to find out how her body ended up buried at the church. People that cross me do not to stick around. Welcome back to Louisiana Sisterhood Book Club. And as you know, when we left off, Brenda Robinson was on fire telling you about the confession that her husband made to himself and to God and to his family to release that pain, to release that shame. And guess what? She's back here to tell you once all that shame was confessed with both her husband and the mistress, you know one thing? God brought peace and joy. She's going to tell you about that joy and that peace and how it expanded the family. And now, guess what? Glory is at the end of the trial. Yes, it is. So, Brenda, come on, finish telling us, girl. That was hot. Oh, that was good. That was like hot manner from heaven. Come on, girls. Let's listen <laughs> in. All right, now. Well, um, as I was saying earlier about my husband, but I'm going to go into where now um, how the young lady that... Um, he was with. It wasn't a relationship. It was something that Satan just, um, he, Satan peeked into our future. Mm -hmm. And he knew what God was getting ready to do in our future. So he had to try. He done tried working through our children. He done tried every way he could. So he had to try this again. Mm -hmm. And Satan never stops. But we have to be on our P's right. and Q's. We have to you be on our, yeah, right. keep praying. Mm -hmm. And never stop praying. But, um, he tried to um, work through my husband to get to me. So when he set it up, he set it up with this young lady and it wasn't an ongoing thing. It wasn't even a relationship. It was just something that happened. And in the midst of that happening, um, the young lady got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, he didn't know. She didn't call him. They had stopped communicating, talking. 
and she called him a month before the babies, his twins, the babies was born and told him and I went on a trip and when I came back, um, he he stopped me, you know, we was in the car and he stopped me from getting out and he explained to me what was going on, you know, what had happened and um, he got the DNA and they were his, but along down the road, uh, some things had transpired with the young lady and she ended up losing her children and I just couldn't let his mm. babies go into the system so what I did I prayed about it and God let me know that everything will work out to just go and you know go ahead on and um, accept the kids and to help raise them mm -hmm. so that's what I um, decided to do and I knew that and with God in it everything will work out and no weapon formed against us shall prosper and I stood on that you know no matter what the enemy tried to bring it's not going to prosper because I know God is in control Control. And when he's in control, everything will work out. Mm -hmm. So the late, the young lady, um, we still communicate. I, I don't have anything bad to say about her because it's not just her. It wasn't her by herself. Right, that's and true. Um, the enemy wanted me to dislike her, to, to you know, but I, I didn't. You so know, you, she apologized you, to you me. You have some forgiveness. I forgave. Going on. Yeah, I forgave her, and she apologized to me. Mm -hmm. And we all communicate. You know, we are we and we have to have a relationship because of the children. But right now we're raising the twins, and God gave me the strength to endure to be able. To take care of them. They are so precious though. You can't help but love them. And you have to remember that mm -hmm. the kids are innocent. They don't right. know what's going on. Exactly. And you have to really pray and trust God where you can be able to have the strength to be able to, to if you don't have them in your home, to be able to just deal with them out, you know, outside. Right. Right. And I always say that every marriage is not the same. Right. But if you pray and you trust God and God will lead you which way to go. So I just wanted you know, to through the, my book to let let you know that you can survive and there is hope after infidelity right. and I, I always pray for a stick and stay marriage and if it's not a stick and stay marriage well just know that God have a better plan for you in your life. Well, I want to say this has been an inspiration for me because I was a, a product of a young love mm -hmm. and my father he went on to marry another lady but if the situation had been with a woman like you at that time, and I'm not saying anything against his wife because she was a beautiful lady, but it they had this thing about keep the boundaries uh, for just the children that's in the marriage, mm -hmm. which that leaves all the other children out. And, and that's just not acceptable because right. that's a lot of hurt that comes that's with right. that. That's so right. I really commend you for bringing these kids in. Mm -hmm. I, I really do. And what helped me also is that I'm a product also mm -hmm. of a, a, a marriage you know my husband me my um, my father um, was married and my him and my mother but there were they, they wasn't together but mm -hmm. at the same time they were still married mm -hmm. and so if you haven't divorced so that will make a big difference right you know? it, it, does. It, it does it makes a big difference but I, I'm still a product and I saw how um, his wife as I mm -hmm. grew older right she took you know hold you know of me and mm -hmm. we um, had a relationship and I loved them and they you know right. loved me so it's all about how you um, handle the, the, every situation exactly because it's not all yeah. just about you it's about these children, the children as Brenda that's say. Right. these children they grow up with hurting them and that's why a lot of these kids out here doing things behavioral issues because they don't have that love that, that love. family love that's, that's so right. important and man. you are definitely a spokesperson for marriage yes, today yes ma'am and we appreciate you so much Thank for bringing so much. That. And you know one thing, as you always know, we bring you what? Never a dull moment here on the Louisiana Sisterhood Book Club. And as you know, Miss Catherine Taylor Bauer is always in the house, y'all. And we want to thank you so much. And you know, there's never a dull read here. And thank you, Miss Robinson, again. Yes, and go to Amazon.com and get our book. And we're just a mirror for the community. That's what we are. You okay. just look at us and you see yourself. And at the end of the day, we want you to be whole and healed. God bless you.